Hello, everybody. This is Dr. Dan Cartolicchio, and I want to welcome you to Momentum Monday. I am the co-host, along with my friend, attorney Jen Garrett. Jen, how are you today? I'm doing great. It is a wonderful Monday morning, and I'm looking to gain some momentum today. And I yeah. hope everyone watching is too. Yeah, let's do this. And so every Monday, what we're going to do at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard, time. We're going to motivate, we're going to educate, and we are going to inspire you to have not only a great day, but a great week. We're going to do this every single week. And it was born out of, Jen, it was born out of our uh, podcast that we did about yeah. four or five weeks ago. And I, I had a lot of positive feedback where people, listeners wanted to know who you are, what is your book about, and, and how can they get the book? So the book is Move the Ball right here. And I recommend that everybody get this book. It's a great book. I've started reading it. We're going to go over this book each and every week, the different important topics. So Jen, tell us about yourself. Yeah. So Jen Garrett, you mentioned I'm an attorney. It's one of the many things that I do. <laughs> I host a podcast called Move the Ball. I'm also an entrepreneur. This is year one for me. So I left the corporate world behind. So what did I do in the corporate space? Spent 20 years working in Fortune 50 companies, executive roles, started off in engineering, did sales, marketing, business development. I structured half a billion dollar deals. So um, great corporate career. But when my dad passed away, as you know, Dan, four mm -hmm. years, almost four years ago, that was really a turning point for me to kind of think about what's next, you know, what I, I enjoyed my life, I wasn't unfulfilled, but I realized that there's more to to life than just building a corporate resume, if you will, right. And so right. I decided that I was going to at some point, leave the corporate world behind and focus on growing the move the ball brand and really helping people to move the ball in their own lives. I had been doing a lot of speaking on the side. And, and I just thought, you know what, it's time. It's time to move on to the next chapter. And, and so it's been great this past year. I launched the podcast um, mm -hmm. Been doing a lot of speaking events, podcast, virtual speaking in uh, this new normal that we're going through. And it's been great. Oh, and personally, I have five kids. So my oldest is 24. My youngest turned four last week. So there's quite the spread. They're never a dull <laughs> moment, as you can imagine, right. in, in my life. And lastly, I'm also in the military still. I am an army lawyer. So if you ever saw the TV show JAG from way back in the day, early 2000s, I am a JAG. I don't get to fly uh, fighter jets, though. So <laughs> unfortunately, it's not quite that show wasn't quite an accurate representation of the life of a JAG. But but I'm still in the military serving as well. Um, and so, yeah, that's a little bit about me. That's great. And, and I would be remiss if I didn't say again, thank you again very much for your service. I think that's a very important to say. And yeah. for and you're welcome. And for those of you who, do, who don't know me, uh, I'm Dr. Dan Cartolicchio by trade. I am a chiropractor. I've been practicing forever. Uh, about 20 years, 21 years or so ago, I had a heart attack and um, a lot of stress. I had multiple offices. I was in multiple different states. And I decided that I needed to change. I felt really bad being a healthcare provider. I, I, I was, you know, playing, playing all these sports, running marathons. I went from 190 pounds to 250 and it wasn't good. And I, I went to a clinical nutritionist and the clinical nutritionist helped me out significantly. And I fell in love with functional medicine and clinical nutrition. I went for a master's degree and it helped me out where I learned a lot about uh, metabolism and biochemistry. And I wanted to help as many individuals as I possibly could with clinical nutrition. And we have offices scattered through, throughout New Jersey. And, and like you, Jen, uh, I think I got into health because, and I, and I pivoted from actually wanting to be an attorney to get into health because my father was always poor health. You know, he, you know, he, coming from the immigrant family, they didn't know how to eat right. And, you know, he was overweight and I saw him deteriorate very, very quickly until he passed away uh, about, about 10 or 11 years ago at the age of 71. So I decided to, to uh, pivot from, from law into being a uh, physician. So it's all good. We all, have our, we all have our place. So tell me, Jen, move the ball. Tell me yeah. about move the ball. 
Yeah, so move the ball. We are in football season. I think a lot of us are, are glad football is back. And Move the Ball is a book about American football and taking principles and strategies from the game and applying it off the field beyond the game, not just in business, because everybody, coach, player, likes to talk about the parallels to business. They apply there, but it's also about how it applies to all areas of your life, personal goals, career goals, business objectives as well. And so the biggest thing I do in the book when I set the foundation, when you read it is you are the quarterback of your own life. So I analogize you to being the quarterback and it's really up to you to take action every day and drive that forward ball movement, um, especially now in coronavirus, there's a lot of people that are making right. what's going on an excuse as to why they cannot achieve whatever it is they set out for the year. And it's like, no, 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 you need to just figure right. out how can you adjust? You can't control what's going on around you, right? You can't control what the defense is doing, but you can always control what you do and how you look to drive forward. And so I think that's the biggest underlying principle that's interwoven throughout the book. I, I really love that comment. And uh, I was at a uh, hockey games this weekend with my son and they were, they were down in, in one game and I run the uh, scoreboard and he got a penalty. He's a big boy. He just shows up to the party, Jen, and he just gets a penalty because he's a big boy. And, you know, they were down and I, you know, and I used the football analogy cause I, cause I, cause I played football also. And I said, you know what? I like it at times when you're down three or four touchdowns, you have a quarter to go and it's one play at a time that you can bring yourself back, right? And no matter what it is you can do, no matter who you are, you can move that ball. And I remember your story when, when you and I were first connecting and what was inspiring to me was that you went to school, you had children and you were raising your children and you're going to school, you're going to law school, which is really just about virtually impossible, but you made it possible. You made it possible. And we want to share those stories that we have where we've overcome and we want to use the book, move the ball so that we can help individuals out. Right. I mean, that's the whole yes. purpose of Momentum Monday. Right. And I mean, we all have different stories. We all have different backgrounds. But one thing that is common is we all go through some sort of struggle. The struggles may look different, but we all have them. Right. And so in the book, I give a lot of different tips and strategies on how you can overcome and navigate through whatever it is you're facing. You, know, you mentioned me going to law school. So I'm a single parent, five kids. I had kids really young. So my first kid I had when I was 18. Um, I had a very wonderful support, a great support system by my parents. So they helped me with my kids. And when I was in law school, I worked full time. So I was working 50 hours a week, going to law school at night. My parents helped me watch my kids. And it's important to, to know that you need a team too. But yes. no, matter what, no matter what circumstances you're going through, you can get through it. You really can. And when you, whatever someone may be facing today, think about all those things you've overcome before. And remember, you can get through anything. It may feel tough and not fun, but just remember that you've gotten through things before and you can, and you will get through whatever you're going through today. And, and I hope to share some tips as we continue these Momentum Mondays to help people to do that. I, I think that's great because no matter where you are in life, if you're uncomfortable or if you're in a situation where you want to take it to the next level, really that's the juice right there because that in the back of your mind, I, I don't like my present situation. I want to be better. That's, that's really the juice of life because now you got to sit down and you have to figure out what it is. You, gotta, you have to be the quarterback one play at a time, one call at a time. Sometimes you may have to audible, right? Sometimes yeah. you may have to audible and you have to pivot. That's okay. But as long yeah. as you're moving the ball and you hit pay dirt, okay, that's great. We're going to have, we're going to have a great time because I love football. Now you're a Chicago Bears fan and I'm a New York Giants fan. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm quite happy from yesterday's game. Um. Oh, geez. So, so we're going to have a good time, even though, we're on opposite ends of the spectrum when it comes to football, because during those 80s, those Bears teams and those Giants teams, they went at it, didn't they, Jen? Yes, they did. Yes. And who had the better defense? Was it the 85 
or 84 Bears. They won the Super Bowl in 85, or it was the 85 Giants. Well, they so it was the, the 85, it was 85 Bears. They won the, they won the Super Bowl, but it was the 85, 86 season. Right, so, so which one had the better de defense? Was it Mike Singletary or was it LT? We'll debate that a little bit too as, <laughs> as, as time goes on. It's okay, it's all good. But we really want to help every individual, whether whether it's whether it's somebody that 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 Jen is 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 coaching and helping out, whether it's one of my patients having a difficult time, you know, losing weight, we want to help you out. Staying on the program that I've given you, staying on the recommendations that Jen has given. So we're going to help you out. We want to bring you from one point to the next point to the next point to make it better in your life. And we want to learn from everybody else too, right, Jen? So that we yes, can get motivated, course. you know, because right. yeah. I think that's extremely important in addition to. Yeah, and one thing that I'll share is I work with a lot of professional athletes. I have a number of, of pro athletes on my podcast and we always talk about this continual improvement, <laughs> but it's not about having to make these monumental changes in one day. It's about the little shifts that you make, you know, focus on getting just that 1% better every day. And that's, I think people get overwhelmed because they feel like, oh my gosh, I have to do so many things different to get to where I wanna go. Well, you need to do that, but you don't have to tackle that all in one day. So just figure out every day, what small shift can you make to get you on that path? And I think that's important because that seems more manageable. So if you focus on the small things you can do versus trying to take on these big, you know, difficult changes. I think that's I think that's a great um, a great point. And the analogy I can make with my patients is that they need to lose 100 pounds, right? And I'm working with somebody that wants to be a fire person, and um, they need to lose another 150 pounds. And they fail, they stumble, like we all do along the way. But then it's like Sunday night, and it's going to start Monday, and now there's these massive changes, and it becomes so overwhelming that they can't manage everything all at once. Set a goal, what are the steps? And we're gonna be here to help you out doing that. Right, yeah. right? And that's, we'll talk that's more about we... the, yes. I was gonna say, we'll talk more about how you can set the steps that'll be more manageable as we uh, do these Momentum Mondays. All right, so listen, anybody who has any comments, put it in, in the comments section below. If there's a topic that you'd like us to discuss to help you out, you know, please let us know. Next week, we're getting into the meat and potatoes. So um, what I recommend is everybody get move the ball, please. Okay, I have my copy. I'm reading it. Get the move the ball so you can come along with us. We're going to start, okay, right in the beginning, chapter one. We're going to be doing these every Monday to help you out. Yeah. Jen, any uh, last comments before we before we uh, get off today. Yeah, I mean, first off, I just wanna thank everyone for being here. Look, I mean, we all have the same amount of time every day and we have to choose how we're gonna spend those minutes. And so we wanna make sure that when you're with us every Momentum Monday, that this is valuable time and you're getting right. great tips and strategies to really help you to be more productive and to really live the life that you want and that you deserve. So I thank you for being with us today and I look forward to seeing everyone next week and in the following weeks as we continue the series. That sounds great. I wanna thank everybody for uh, coming today. Um, I, I, again, we look forward. I am grateful, Jen, for you and I uh, co-hosting this and working together. Uh, so I am very thankful and grateful for that. And everybody have a great week. Get going, start your life. And next week, 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, each week we're going to do Momentum Monday. Thank you for listening, everybody. And we will talk soon. Jen, we'll see you next week. All right. Bye, everyone. Thank you again.